Is this an animal? Well, good afternoon, everyone. Hey, Ken. As you may know, I'm Sheriff Joe Lombardo. I'm here this afternoon to announce some new information referencing the in-custody death of Tashi Farmer, also known as Tashi Brown, which occurred on May 14th of this year. Before I get started, please know I will be making a statement only. I will not be taking questions in this manner as it is an ongoing investigation. As a reminder, under Sheriff McMahill, provided background on this incident in a press briefing a couple of weeks ago. <clears throat> when we first came to the public about this case, we promised to come back before you when new information became available. <clears throat> The Clark County Coroner's Office informed us that they have completed the autopsy and toxicology workup of Mr. Farmer. As a result, the cause and manner of Mr. Farmer's death is homicide due to asphyxiation related to police restraint. Additionally, the op autopsy revealed that contributing factors in the death of Mr. Farmer were an enlarged heart and methamphetamine intoxication. Due to the coroner's findings and investigation conducted by the force investigation team and consultation with the district attorney's office, Officer Lopera will be charged with involuntary manslaughter and oppression under the color of office. For clarification, involuntary manslaughter, which is a Category D felony and carries a minimum term of not less than one year and a maximum of not more than four years in state prison. <clears throat> Oppression under the color of office, which is a Category D felony, carries a term of not less than one year and a maximum of not more than four years in state prison. <clears throat> The charges are the result of the coroner's findings, along with evidence gathered from video surveillance, body-worn cameras, and witness statements. It should be noted that Officer Lopera did not provide a statement to the force investigation team, which is responsible for the criminal investigation of this incident. Officer Lopera has been on paid administrative leave since the incident occurred in accordance with our policy. However, he will now go on unpaid administrative leave as a result of the charges. As the criminal investigation moves forward, the internal administrative investigation will also proceed. We anticipate a completed report and the use of force review board to convene within the next two months. This process will allow the department to hold Officer Lopera accountable for the internal policies, training, and decision-making during this incident. The case will follow the process set in place just as any other, and the facts and evidence will speak for themselves in the end. I would ask the public to continue to have patience as you have demonstrated so far. Arrangements have been made for Officer Lopera and with his union representation to be taken into custody, and he will be processed. Thank you. Like I said, there will not be any questions and answer at this time. Ken? Thank you. I appreciate your time. <clears throat> 